tell them, boy, to pass the time. Hey, the Israelites, we about to shine. Babylon, Babylon, burn to the crime. Listen up for them trumpet to sign. Them chariots fly, them chariots fly, yo. Uh. Cherry, cruise control. Look at the glow, amazing. Terrible, flame of fire. Hear the devour, blazing. Swing low, please save me. From all the ones that hate me. The Israelites, stay patient. Returning home to our nation. Cherry, cruise control. Look at the glow, amazing. Terrible, flame of fire. Hear the devour, blazing. Swing low, please save me. From all the ones that hate me. The Israelites, stay patient. Returning home to our nation. Slave ship to the spaceship that's flying. Share your beams you see in the sky. Scariest thing you see with your eyes. There's niggas and fringes that look like God. Black as the image is in your soul. Angelic creatures don't look like a dog. Four heads never heard one of them fall. Got a whole lot to say. Where do I start? Precepts. Dust on my shoulder, I need swell. Isaiah 60, they need help. The build of these walls, foundation and all, and they about to get it. Soon as I get home, yeah, they about to get it. You want to get on and get in the spirit. Sauce in this dripping, ain't looking for chickens. Be strong in the Lord, pop power to spinach. I'm living whenever my people get shot down in the streets. Zechariah was a beast, prophesying in the east. It's going down, to say the least. The living rise, that's the yeast. It's sin in our members. When Babylon fall, you're in the temple. Christ call us the snow in December. Captains, read his word and remember. Greatest people on the earth. I know that it hurts. Mama been crying, brothers been dying. Where's the mirth? It ain't in the church. You heard it here first. My people, God's only chosen. Holy is heaven, chairs, then we roll it. Gone. Terry, cruise control. Look at the glow, amazing. Terry, flame of fire. Hear the devour, blazing. Swing low, please save me. From all the ones that hate me. The Israelites stay patient. Returning home to our nation. Terry, Cruise control, look at the glow, amazing. Terrible, flame of fire, hear the devour, blazing. Swing low, please save me from all the ones that hate me. The Israelites stay patient, returning home to our nation. Two, two. Check, 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 check. One, two. All right. All right, Israel, let's rise and face Jerusalem. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for another blessed morning, Heavenly Father, that you have blessed us, Heavenly Father, for we know that thou has waken all of us up in this morning. Uh, we pray for all those that's traveling and commuting amongst us that they may get to their destination safe and safely. Uh, protect them in their journey, as Father. Protect those who's traveling amongst us, Heavenly Father. We pray for the sick amongst us. We also pray for the house of Captain Severus, Heavenly Father. We pray for the healing of his household, Heavenly Father. We pray for all Israel who's sick amongst us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Shalom, 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 shalom. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless. Uh, running late a little, running a bit, well, about 30 minutes late this morning. You know, I ain't going to blame it on who. I want to blame it on somebody. I ain't going to blame it on them. <laughs> now, nah, it's my bad. I woke up late, so bear with me. Have mercy on me, Israel. But we're going to get it right to it. Call The uh, class call is calling Jacob to wake up. Uh, open that first clip. The very first clip I sent you. The very first clip I sent you. I want to open up with that. The very first clip on your telegram I sent you. So go look for that and then play that. I sent it to you in order. I want to open up with this clip here. Title of the class is Calling Jacob to Wake Up. That ain't the first clip. If you look on your telegram, you would you you look on your telegram, you would know the first link. Yeah, I sent it to you on the, yeah, this the one. I think this the one. Yeah, play that. And get the second clip ready. Uh, get the second clip I sent you ready as well. It's time stamp a minute, 35 seconds. Boy, play that. Jacob! Hey, Jacob! Yeah, it's time to wake up. Yeah, it's time to wake up. We have good news. Mother was yellow, 
Now this is some powerful stuff here. Get that the second clip for me. Uh, time stamp a minute, I believe, and 35 seconds. Get that second. So we calling Jacob to wake up. A minute and 35 seconds. You should have opened them up how I sent it to you. Then it'll make it easy for you. Yep, it's Men's Conference 2021. Minute 35 seconds, play. Is it, is it on the screen? It's not on the screen. Transition, is the screen looking at me? All right, play that, it's muted. Can't You're building it. an army. I said, well, this is a spiritual army. This is God's You got to bring it back. Threat assessment. Minute 35 he seconds. He says, no, yeah, but yeah, they, right there. They, they saw no real threat assessment. I said, we're no threat assessment. He says, no, but based on what they're saying, it looks like you're building an army. I said, well, this is a spiritual army. This is God's army. So he said, well, you guys are making them very, very nervous. He said, uh, Jewish Defense League was there. He said, a lot of, Am what, what we call, who we call Amalek, he called Jewish people. He said, I'm just letting you know, Israel, be careful. He said, these people are relentless. Uh, they'll go to extremes to take you guys out. I said, all right, I hear you. And this is the time when we were traveling, hitting various countries, countries after countries after countries. He says, you guys are the only group that's going international doing major things. Identify themselves as black identity extremists, and what does that movement do? Well, it would be interesting to see the conclusions of that report. But I'm aware uh, that there are groups that uh, do have an extraordinary commitment to their uh, racial identity. And some have transformed themselves even into violent activists. Again, there were two shooters, a man and a woman. The man is a man, known member of a group called the Black Hebrew Israelite Movement. That group is known to be hostile. He said, I'm just telling you, be careful. He said, they got their eyes on purple and gold. All right. So as you see, the General Bishop Nathaniel says, they got, the Esau had a meeting concerning us say they got their eyes on purple and gold give me that in first john 4 and 18 well this is the response we got for you you adl and amalex out there this is what god say first john 4 and, uh 18 first john chapter 4 verse 18 there is no fear in love uh-huh but perfect love casts it out fear because fear hath torment so god forbid that we should stop teaching this word because y'all having your secret meetings talking about how we going to stop these purple and gold. You ain't going to stop God's word. You are not going to stop what God has prophesied in this Bible. Give me 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1. Give me 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1. We're going to read down. So uh, we calling all Jacob to wake up. We calling the Israelites. It's time for you to wake up out of sleep. Arise out of sleep. And don't, don't be fearful because God said there's no fear. In love. Read that. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Freedom. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind. You say, what does Paul say? That we should what? That ye be not soon shaken in mind. So Paul is saying we shouldn't be rattled or shaken in mind. Read on. Or be troubled. Or be troubled at what they trying to trying to. Do to us crafty counsel. Uh, they 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 uh, go in their beds and imagine wicked things to do to us, and in the morning they practice it. We ain't gotta be fearful of none of that stuff. Read on. Neither by spirit, neither by spirit, nor by word, uh huh, nor by letter as from us, 
as that the day of Christ is at hand. That day of Christ is at hand, meaning the coming of Christ, the second coming of Christ is close. It's at hand. Read on. Let no man deceive you Let by no any means. Uh-huh. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Except they come and fall. Let's deal with that. It said, let, I repeat you, brethren, that by uh, let no man deceive you, it, except it come a falling away first. Give me that in Genesis 49 and 10. While I read this, I want you to put those pictures I sent you concerning um, the Arabs. Read that. Genesis chapter 49, verse 10. Uh-huh. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Read. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Uh-huh. Until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Well, that's some heavy stuff right there. Go back to 2 Thessalonians 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, uh -huh. and that man of sin be revealed. That this man of sin be revealed. Read verse 2. Verse 2. That he be not. I'm sorry, read verse 1. Verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. and by our gathering together unto him. By what? By our gathering together unto him. So under Judah, we're going to be gathering together. That's what we just read in Genesis 49. So we're going to be gathering under Christ is what God is saying here. Read on. That he be not soon shaken in mind. Don't be shaken. Read. Or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us. Uh-huh. As that the day of Christ is at hand. The day of Christ is at hand. Read. Let no man deceive you. Don't let no man trick you. That Christ has come already, because that's what a lot of the Pharisees, back in the scriptures, the Pharisees believed this is coming already. The Sadducees, I believe, believed the coming of Christ already came. They didn't believe in the resurrection. But don't let nobody deceive you. Read on. By any means. Uh-huh. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Let's deal with the falling away. Except they come in a fall away. Give me Luke 21, I believe in 24 or 2020. Yep, get that. What is that falling away? Luke chapter 21, verse 24. Uh-huh. And they shall fall. And they what? And they shall fall. And they what? And they shall fall Read. by the edge of the sword. Uh-huh. And shall be led away captive into all nations. Read. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Now give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. I need those pictures. What I read this, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. So it says... The fall of Jerusalem. It started in 70 AD, but now we're going to show you that even in, 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 in our time, falling away is going into slavery, captivity, captivity. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, and we're going to jump down to 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God Read. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the city. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall we be in the field. We, gonna, we, we got cursed in the sugarcane field. We got cursed in the, plant, uh, uh, in the uh, wheat field, the corn, the, the coffee. Go now, now go to 68. Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bondmen and bondwomen. And some and those enemies was the Arabs, like we just seen in the on the screen. Put it back up there. Some of them enemies was the Arabs. Because you know we had the sub-Saharan slave trade, what we rarely hear about. See, we stuck in sardines on a boat. So this, um, the Arab slave trade began in the east of coast of Africa from, so, from the so-called prophet Muhammad. So now a lot of people think it started later on, but it started with Muhammad back in 610 or 601 around there, um, A.D. So way back there before the transatlantic slave trade. So a lot of people don't talk about this. Read verse 68 again. See them yokes of eyes around our neck? 
Read it again. And the Lord shall. You ain't got to put it on me. Post so all the pictures. I got more. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men Read. and bond women. And bond men and bond women. Now go to go to all uh, the other pictures I got. Let's deal with the transatlantic. Now, and that was the uh, sub-Saharan slave trade. Now we got the transatlantic slave trade, which happened, which started in 1441. Bishop brought that out recently from uh, Pope Alexander. What is it? Pope Nicholas? I'm sorry, Pope Nicholas the Fifth, I believe. Pope Nicholas the Fifth. He was the one that started the uh, transatlantic slave trade in 1441. Okay. Now, let's go back to 2 Thessalonians 2. Why did we wait for the pictures? 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1 again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord. I'm sorry, verse, uh, verse, where we left off at? Uh, verse 3. 3, yep, read 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, uh -huh. for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. Except there come a falling away. As you've seen on the screen, we have pictures of us going into captivity. We was going into slavery. The Arabs took us into slavery. The, uh, the, the British, America, they took us into slavery. They had yokes of irons around our neck, and they transported us from the east coast of, what, uh, of Africa, the Arabs did, and brought us to the Saudi Arabia. Um, all these Arabs uh, colonies, and also in the transatlantic slave trade around during the time of Pope Nicholas V, he brought us too to slavery through, took us from the west coast of Africa, brought us to Spain and all this extra, all this stuff. And some of the people that was in Spain, he kicked out. As you see here, we got a, a young slave woman sitting before Arab. So no one talks about this, not the Christian church, not nobody. Look at, he, look at this scripture, look at this screen right here. None of these black kids standing behind an Arab. So all the Arabs sit on a chair and on the ground right in front of them. These are slaves. From Arabs. Understand that. Now, guess more? Click through. There you go. You got, you got the Arabs sitting on a chair and his uh, sons or whoever sitting behind him and to his left. Then the two slaves on, a, on, a, on, on his right side. Standing up, one standing up, one sitting in front of the slave. Sitting down. This is what the Arabs did. And we don't talk about that. Like I said, during the time of 610 AD, which was... 600 years after Christ, 300 years after Christ, Muhammad took slaves from Africa. Okay? All right, read that again. Verse 3. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So the falling away is captivity. So we are we, we in captivity right now. We didn't went through captivity. We went through hard bondage. Chattel slavery. Now we're still in captivity right now. Only difference is they took the yokes and irons off our necks. So Paul is saying, before Christ come, there must be a falling away. Read on. And that man of and sin. What? And that man of uh -huh. sin be revealed. Now give me the article, Al Jazeera. Give me the article. And that man of sin be revealed. Let's, let's, let's reveal him then. Let's reveal who is the man of sin. Get that link for me. And put that link up because Paul is telling us something heavy here. There's two things that must happen first before Christ come back. That's it. Yep. Put that on the screen. Read that for me. This article is from Al Jazeera. Israel's war on Gaza updates. Israel says Hamas chief killed on March 10th. Uh-huh. Read that. Here's what happened today. A report by the UN special... Uh, rapporteur on the occupied Palestinian territory. Francesca Abanese says there are reasonable grounds to believe Israel is committing genocide in the Gaza Strip. So this man has said is committing genocide in the Gaza Strip, meaning he put a lot of these Palestinians to death. In October 7th, Palestinians, I believe, killed about a thousand of the Israelis. Israelis today, we call, well, I call them Amalek. So when you, say, when, I hear, when you hear me say Amalek, I'm talking about the so-called Jewish, the Israelis. So Palestinians, the Arabs put in October 7, put, a, a, I believe, a few thousand, or like a thousand Israelis to death and got some of them in captivity or in hostage. At, from that point on to this day, they have killed 
the Amalek people, have killed over 32,000 of the Palestinians. Now you tell me this man ain't the devil the Bible speak for. Understand that. This man of sin will be revealed. He's the devil. He's committing genocide on, in, on innocent people. Now, not to get it twisted, we are not on the Palestinian side. We on God's side. But I'm just revealing to you the son of perdition, the man of sin. That's this man right. does not have most mercy. He's killing women, children, dogs, cattle, burning down hospitals. Host it don't matter. He's burning down the entire Gaza Strip. Read that. Read on. Released yesterday, the report received widespread citation and global calls for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. So they had a council to have a media. The UN had a council to have an immediate ceasefire. And this time, America actually raised their hand and agreed. But read on. Hamas's deputy military commander, Marwan Issa, was killed in an Israeli airstrike earlier this month. Israel's military spokesperson says the group's senior official, Osama Hamdan, says the political very, um, very, Bureau, sorry, hasn't seen evidence of Issa's death. At least 12 Palestinians, including children, were killed in an, in an air raid that hit a tent full of displaced people in Al Mawasi. Okay, now scroll up, scroll up, go up. No, nope, the other way. Yep, up, up. Yep, keep going, keep going. Faster. You got to go faster now. Hit read more. Hit read more to the left. Now read that second orange circle thing. Yep. Israel. Remember, he said UN had a council to cause a ceasefire. This is what the devil said. Read that. Israel had dismissed, has dismissed Hamas's ceasefire dis demands as delusional after the group said it was sticking to its original proposal, calling for Israel's full withdrawal from Gaza and a permanent ceasefire. You hear that? So the UN is causing for a ceasefire, but the Israeli Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, who's the prime minister of Israel, of Amalek right now, he says, man, we rejected that ceasefire. These people have no conscience. He's raw, his soul, give me that, his soul is, uh, his soul is not upright in him. I think it's in, uh, forget where is that. These, the way, the way the Lord made them and wired them, they ain't right in the head. And rightfully so, because that's how the God made them. This man is sin. This man is sin. You got that for me? Okay, while you look at give me the other link, Al Jazeera link. Give me the other link. Put that up. Yep. Read that. Oh, you got it? You got it? All right, read the scripture first, and we're going to come to that. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Uh-huh. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not under, upright in him, uh -huh. but the just shall live by his faith. So the soul of the white man is not right in him. He think they calling for a ceasefire. He said, man, listen, the hell with your ceasefire. We burning, we committing genocide, which is against the, 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 uh, the war laws. You, now put that link up. What are we revealing? The son of the man of sin. Read that. Reasonable grounds to believe Israel committing genocide. You see that? That's from Al, Jaz Al Jazeera report. Reasonable grounds to believe Israel is committing genocide. Look up the word genocide so we know people understand what genocide is. Let's look up that. We highlighted that and put that on Google. Let's look up genocide. What does that mean? Come on, you got to go faster than that. Read that. Put that up there. Genocide. The deliberate killing of a large number of people. Whoa, 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 whoa. you got to put some emphasis on that second word there. The what? The deliberate. The deliberate. Now, click that. Now, click that. Let's see what that word is. Because we make sure we understand what's being said here. And we're going to go back to the uh, to genocide. Read that. Deliberate. Done consciously and intentionally. You hear that? This is something that's done intentionally by the man of sin, the son of perdition, the devil. Go back to uh, genocide and read that definition again. Just hit back. All right, read that. Put Gen that up. Hold on. What does he say? Put it up. All genocide. Right, the deliberate killing of a large number of people from a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that nation or group. You hear this stuff? 
You hear this stuff? That's genocide. So they're deliberately bombing them at their hospitals. Their uh, they, 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 they safe camp where they going to dwell. They, they tell them, go up north. And we're not bombing over there. Then they get up north, they bomb them over there. That's genocide. They're deliberately doing this. Understand that. Go back to Second Thessalonians 2 and 3 now again. While we, while we get that, go to uh, that next link I gave you to CB, uh, CNBC. While we read the scripture, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, read it again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Read. Let no man deceive you. Don't by, be deceived. Read. By any means. Uh-huh. For that day shall not come. So Christ is not coming unless what? Except there come a falling away first. The Israel, the 12 tribes will go into captivity, which we did. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. And we're revealing the man of sin this very moment right now. Now put that article back on the screen. We're showing you the man of sin right here. Read that. This is from CNBC. An extraordinary thing, U.S. break with Israel on U.N. ceasefire vote triggers that Yahoo rage. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this, this devil. This man of sin, the son of perdition said what? Read it again. An extraordinary thing, U.S. break with Israel on U.N. ceasefire vote triggers that Yahoo rage. You hear that? So the U.N., you, you know what the U.N. UN is? That is a united nation. These are all the countries coming together. Listen, we all agree to ceasefire. And this devil, Netanyahu, says what? It angered him. Can you imagine that? Now, read up. Let's read some of the key points. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had warned before the vote that if the U.S. did not veto it. Hold up. Let's look up that word. We know we don't know what veto means. Look up veto. Let's look up veto because Benjamin Netanyahu said, listen, if you do not veto Veto is, we're going to get it. I don't want to explore it. Let's get the definition. Look up veto. Put, read, put that on the screen. Okay, read. Veto, a constitutional right to reject a decision uh -huh. or proposal made by a lawmaking body. So the UN is a lawmaking body. They voted ceasefire, which is a law they put in there. And this dude said, you better veto that. Meaning go against the law from the lawmaking body. Read, is more on that? Yes, sir. Let's get some similars. Reject. Reject the law. Turn down. Turn down the law. Throw out. De throw out the law. Dismiss. Dismiss the law. Say no to. Say no to the law. Rule against. I go against the law. Now go back to the article. This is the devil. We talk about the devil, uh, Netanyahu. This is the son of perdition, Amalek. Read that again, Israeli Prime Minister. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had warned before the vote that if the U.S. did not veto it, uh -huh. the visit of a high-living Israeli delegation to Washington would be pulled. So they said, we ain't going to meet with y'all no more in Washington, D.C. We're going to pull all out. See, that's the representative of the United States. She voted. Her hand is up. She vote to of a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. Enough is enough. Listen, these dudes, they, they can't fight y'all back. Y'all burn this, y'all burn hospitals, y'all burn safe camps, y'all burn innocent people, y'all burn kids, children. Enough is enough. This is the devil. This is the get that second Thessalonians 2 and 3 so we can know who Paul is talking about in this chapter. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive you uh -huh. by any means. Read. For that day shall not come. Except they're coming a falling away first. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. That man of sin must be revealed. So we got to bring this out. Now give me one more article. I ain't give it to you, but I want you to look it up. Uh, Amalek kidnapped 30 women. We got to put them put, the, put them on blast. And while you look for that, we need to show some Amalek. Who, the, who are Amaleks today? Give me a few pictures. It was not part of it. I ain't sent it to you, but let me see if you can pull it for me. Let me help you out. Let me look. Let me look. Let me see if I got it somewhere here. Who are the Amalekites? Let me see. Because we want to, we all, I got I to gotta show Amalek the devil, the son of perdition. They mad. I know they mad at us. You be get mad then. Get mad. We're going to still bring it out. That's right. Because ain't think about it. There's no newscast. There's no CNN. The only reporting agency on earth that's reporting what's taking place in the Gaza Strip is Al Jazeera. No other one is doing it. America ain't doing it. Uh, a lot of these other countries ain't reporting it. Only Al Jazeera. And now imagine if we didn't have that news. We wouldn't even know, know what's going on in Gaza right now. That's some heavy stuff. There you go. Put that on the screen. I know, but I want the pictures up there. Just, yeah, just pictures. But I want you to look up that. I'm going to help you. I'm looking for it too. But yeah, let's put that up while we're looking for it. Let's put, put, put a few amulets. That's, that's the devil. That's the son of perdition right there. Get mad now. 
Get mad. You are the devil. The Bible speaks the son of perdition. We got to we got to we 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 got to reveal the devil. I ain't had it. Ah. All right. I don't want to stay too long. Time is running out. All right. Give me second testimony. I mean, second Timothy two and one. While we while we look for that, you can still look for it on the side if you want, but we're gonna read on. Read that second Timothy two in verse one. Second Timothy chapter two, verse one. Uh-huh. Thou therefore, my son. Be strong in the grace uh -huh. that is in Christ Jesus. Read. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men. So Paul said us that we must be strong because what we're revealing is that it's going to come with mad pressure. It's going to come with anger from the white man. That's why we played our first, I played that first clip what Bishop said um, during the men's conference in 2021. He said they had a meeting about us. So Paul said, read verse 1 again. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace. We got to be strong in the grace, meaning we can't be wavered. We can't turn back. We got to know what we signed up for. We are the prophets of the Son of God. That's right. You got the article? Put the article up before we read on. Put the article up. Because we, we I'm going to reveal the devil. We going to reveal. You can get mad all you want. We going to tell the people who you are. You are the devil, and you are the devil in flesh. The so-called white man, Amalek. Read that. New York Post. House of Horrors, Rabbi takes cushy deal after pleading guilty to enslaving 30 women. You hear this madness? He enslaved 30 women and took a cushy deal. What does cushy, the cushy deal? We're going we're gonna to read about it, the cushy deal. Uh, read. A Jerusalem rabbi accused of enslaving 30 women uh -huh. in a cult-like home dubbed the House of Horrors has pleaded guilty to lesser charges. That's that cushy deal, pleading to lesser charges. Read. In return for a lax sentence of community service. You hear that? Community. 30 women has been kidnapped against their will, and he got community service. Not hey, a day bro, in jail. Come on now, dog. That don't make no sense. That is unbelievable. Whole lot. Give me Rebecca 1 and 4. And we're going to come back to this article. Give me Rebecca 1 and 4. God has prophesied this already. We're showing you what the Bible has said for thousands of years before all this came to pass, so it won't be new to none of us. Read that for me. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. Read. Therefore, the law is slack. The what? The law is slack. It's hypocr the hypocrisy in the laws of, of America. Because if one of the black men would have taken a snicker ball out of the damn Walgreens, he would have got probably 10 years. <laughs> this dude done kidnapped 30 women against their will. He got community service, not a day in jail. Damn. Read it again. Therefore, the law is slack. Uh-huh. And judgment doth never go forth. Judgment never go forth, Trayvon Market. I mean, that's what I said. I'm sorry. Trayvon Martin put the death hell on Skittles with a hoodie on his head. The man get acquitted of our charge. You got, uh, who else? Give me some names. You got Kareem, uh, I forgot his name from Mississippi. Kareem, I forget his last name, but he got his head sawed off his head, skull. You know? Rasheem Carter. Get put to death. So, listen. Amar and Arby. All these people, are, uh, the law is slack. Read it again. Therefore, the law is slack, uh -huh. and judgment doth never go forth. Judgment never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Does the, the wicked does not. Put that article back. We're going to show you the wicked. Here's the wicked. Put his picture up. Then we're going to read it out. Put his, show him right. That's the wicked. That's the wicked in his sidekick, so-called cop, who's put a cuffs on him and his arms in front of him. We would have had our arms behind our backs Freedom. and our head held down. This man got cuffs that's loose. In front of him, all oh, this is letting you know the law is slack. Judgment never go forth. <laughs> Scroll up again. Now read what we left off at. Or read it from the top of Jerusalem. A Jerusalem rabbi accused of enslaving 30 women in a cult-like home dubbed the House of Horrors has pleaded guilty to lesser charges in return for a lax sentence of community service and cash compensation to his victims, according jump down to reports. To, jump down to the uh, second one right above the picture, the, the two words, because we want to know what the cash uh, the, compensation is. The deal came with a cushy sentence of just nine months of community you service. You hear it? This man didn't even get a year. Nine wait, months wait. of community service. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Wow. It's, this is unbelievable. Nine months of community service. Read on. And $34,000 in damages owed to his victims. So that's the compensation. So 30000 So let's see. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. We got 30. We got, what is it? 30 women. Um, Divide that by what? 34 divided by 30 or 30 divided by 34. 
you'll say that's give or take eleven hundred, a thousand dollars each women. Can you can, you can you cannot make this up? Wow. Thousand dollars each women, right? That's some that's some crazy stuff. And no one is reporting this. Roll scroll up. They think this is some old news. Scroll up. Let's look at the date. No, go all the way to the top of the article. Top of the article. Let's look at the date. Published, what did it say? Published February 22nd, 2024. That's this year. Not even, is it, has it been a month? It's been a month. What we at? March what? Yeah, it's been a little bit, a little over the month. But no one is reporting this. No one is bringing this out in a newscast. But let an Israelite with some fringes do something. That thing is going to, that's going to be the topic of discussion for the next month. <laughs> On every newscast. Put his face up there. That's the devil. Read the scripture while we had his face up there. 2 Thessalonians 2. Go back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3 again. 2 Thessalonians. Yep, yep. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive you by any means. Read. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. And that man of sin be revealed. Read. The son of perdition. The son of perdition. Give me Obadiah 6. Give me Obadiah 6. We, he leave his face up there. Leave the son of perdition face up there. Leave the devil up there while we read this verse. Obadiah 6. Obadiah 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? Uh-huh. How are his hidden things sought up? Read. And the men of the confederacy have brought thee even to the border. Uh -huh. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. The man that was at peace had deceived thee, read. And prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Now give me uh, Revelations 12 and 9. Revelations 12 and 9. These Edomites are deceivers. They are the devil the Bible speaks of. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. Uh-huh. And the great dragon and was the what? And the what? great dragon read. was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. That's what are they right? called? The devil. What are they called? The devil. Give me Revelation. I'm sorry, Revelation 2 and 9 now. Let me get Revelation 2 and 9 real quick. Re the devil. Read. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works. Read. And tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. Put the, de put the demon back up there. They say they are Jews. Read. And are not. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. The right. damn devil the Bible speak of. The son of perdition. The man of sin. That's who God is talking about. That's and we reveal right. it today in this earth. The prophets are bringing this thing out. All right. Let's go back to 2 Timothy 2 and 1 now. Now let's deal with the problem of the Israelites. This is what we must do in the midst of the devil, in the midst of this crazy world. Read that. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Read. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grave. We must what? Be strong in the grave. Read. That is in Christ Jesus. So Paul said us to be strong because he knows something is coming. And we got to be girded. Read. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. So whatever, whatever the prophets are teaching, whatever the elders are teaching us, we must Glean to that and leave and, 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 and hold on to that. Read on. The same commit thou to faithful men. And we must commit it to faithful, diligent men who's going out there risking their lives That's every right. day teaching his word. These are the faithful. Give me first uh chronic, uh, I'm sorry, Corinthians 4 and 2. First Corinthians, we're coming back here. Commit thou to faithful men. First Corinthians 4 and 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. We can start two. at verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ. We are what? Ministers of Christ. Read. And stewards. And what? And stewards. That's why Bishop Y'all some say we going we have stewardship. Don't get it twisted. That's a good call. That's a high calling. Read on. And stewards of the mysteries of God. Read. Moreover, it is required in stewards. What is required in the stewards? Read. That a man be found faithful. We must what? Be found faithful. We got to be teaching this word nonstop regardless of what the devil is trying to do That's or trying right. to stop us having meetings, crafty counsel, threatenings, job threatening, death threatening. We going to be faithful. That's what God is calling us to do. Go back. 2 Timothy 2 and verse 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2. I'm sorry, 1 Timothy. No, no, 2 Timothy. You're right. My bad. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. Uh -huh. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men. Read. Who shall be able to teach others That's also. what faithfuls do. Faithful men teach others. That's they right. hit the streets. Hit the street, Negro. 
Read on. Thou therefore endure hardness. We must what? Endure hardness. We must be ten toes down on this truth. Read on. As a good soldier of Jesus oh, Christ. Or oh, what? As a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Soldiers take orders and execute. Read on. That's what soldiers do. We are in the army, brothers and sisters. We are in God's army. That's right. This is God's government being raised up. So we could care less what all the people on the outside of Israel are saying about us. The Chinese, the Af Africans, the Amaleks, which is the so-called uh, Israelis, um, Esau, uh, the, the damn devil. We don't care what you're plotting against us. We know y'all having little secret meetings. But guess what? God said, read verse 3 again. Thou therefore endure hardness uh -huh. as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Read. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. We ain't tired and tied up in this world. We don't care about your politics, your religion, your uh, marching. We are not entangled in nothing in none of the affairs of this world. Read. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. To be a what? To be a soldier. So we are chosen to be soldiers of Christ. That's and we, right. only, we ain't entangled in your religion, your pagan holiday. The hell with your Thanksgiving, the hell with your Christmas, and the hell with your New Year's. Because we had a real New Year's last night. That's All right. praise to the Most High for that. Put some respect on the Lord's law, statutes, That's and commandments. Right. Okay, now go to give me Acts chapter 10, verse 39. Let's show you what we what we supposed to do. These, these are the examples of the prophets showing us what we must be doing a day on this earth. Acts chapter 10, verse 39. Read. Read. And we are witnesses. We are what? Witnesses Read. of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews uh -huh. and in, in Jerusalem, Read. whom they slew and hanged on a tree. They killed our Christ. They hung him on a tree, crucified him. Read. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses. So when we are chosen as witnesses, God's Christ raised up the third day and not to everybody he showed himself to, but to witnesses. Read. Chosen before. What? Chosen. Uh -huh. Before of God. Uh-huh. So us being called to this truth, we are chosen to That's understand it. Right. Us that understand that you an Israelite, you understand Christ is black. You understand, you understand the new moon, the new years, you understand that that basic stuff. God said you are chosen. Read. Even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. Uh-huh. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. We must do what? Preach unto the people. You see what Christ commanded us after he raised from the dead? After we, that's for us, for us to, now to tie it on together for us today. After we come in this truth, read verse 42 again. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. Read. And to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of quick. The living? And dead. And the dead. So you think we care about your crafty councils? We don't care. We're going to still travel from country to country, city to city, preaching the word of God, because that's what we was commanded to do. That's right. Ten toes down. Second Timothy 4 and 1. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Read. I charge thee therefore before God uh -huh. and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick. He shall judge the living. And the dead. And the dead. Everybody's getting judged. You ain't escaping judgment. Whether you are Amalek or you are Israelite who refuse to repent, you are all being judged before that judgment day, that second day, when that Christ come back. Read. And is appearing and his kingdom. Read. Preach the word. What we must do? Preach the word. We must do what? Preach the word. Read. Be instant. Be instant, instant in season. Read. Out of season. And out of season. Man, you always got to be ready to answer. Clubhouse. TikTok. Uh, classrooms, Ooh. street teaching, Ooh. flyer mission. Ooh. We must teach the word of God. That's right. Read. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. We must be patient in within that. That's why we got Clubhouse. We be patient with y'all. We understand we we ain't, we don't like to kick y'all off the stage all the time. We be patient. That's what that's what long suffering is. So we teach, we rebuke, we exhort with long suffering because we understand y'all don't know no better. Read on. And doctrine. And give sound doctrine. Read on. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. There, some people are not going to accept the word. Read. But after their own lust. They're going to go after their lust. Covetousness. Fornication. Uh, loving the world. Loving this world. The riches of this world. Read. Shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Uh -huh. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. That's what they do. Remember, we said in Isaiah 30, give me Isaiah 30 and 20. We're coming back here in verse 4. He said, they shall turn their ears. They have an itching ear because they, they desire to serve Babylon. They want, they love this good old white America. Yeah, they don't know this good old white America going to burn. 
Isaiah 30, I believe, verse 20. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. Uh -huh. And though the Lord give you the bread of ad adversity uh -huh. and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Read. But thine eyes shall see thy nope, teachers. No, no, read that verse 21 again. Verse 20, verse 20. And 21, 21. 21. Uh -huh. And thine ears shall uh -huh. hear a word behind thee. There you go. That, that, that ears shall hear a word behind thee. Reading. Saying, this is the way. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. But guess what they did? Uh, go back to 2 Timothy 4 in verse 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. Read it out. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They, were, they, they keep walking. We on the street teaching them, hey, yo, this is the way. Come learn. You and Israelite, brother. You a God on earth. Christ is black. They turn their ears and keep on walking. Damn. Damn. Go ahead. You can put them pictures up. Go ahead. Read on. And shall be turned unto fables. Fables. Read on. But watch thou in all things. We must do what? Watch thou in all things. Read. Endure affliction. We must what? Endure affliction. So when you have your craft, we're not scared. We prepared because God has prepared us to be ready for what's to come. It's prophesied so we're not confused. That's right. Christ has taught us to endure affliction. Read on. Do the work of an evangelist. We must do the work of an evangelist. Evangelist travels. We go from country to country, city to city. Read. You make foolproof of thy ministry. Because that's when it's going to make foolproof of your ministry when you travel. So get your passport. Let's get this. Let's hit the streets. Let's hit these countries. That's right. And Bishop Ben prophesied that two, three years ago. It's time to go to different countries to preach the word. You. Get your passports. Read. For I'm now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Uh-huh. Now I give me wisdom of Solomon 8 and 14. Real quick. Make full proof of thy ministry no matter what comes our way. Give me wisdom of Solomon 8, 14. We got to make full proof our ministry. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 14. Uh-huh. I shall set the people in order. What does God, what Christ said? Set the people in order. Now put the pictures up. This, this is what he's talking about right here. This is what this prophecy is being fulfilled right now. Read it again. I shall set the people in order. Because where we came from was the decay state. Jokes are irons, chains on our neck. But what does God say? I shall set the people in order. Read. And the nations shall be subject unto me. Christ is right. coming now to establish his government. That's what you see on this screen right now. That's God's government. That's Christ's government being set up. Give me Isaiah 9 and 6. God say you're going to send us in order. We're getting set up in order right now. You see what we teach? We teach you on Israelite. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indian, you are the chosen seed of the Bible. You are the jewels of God. <laughs> Read that. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Uh-huh. For unto us a child is born. Read. Unto us a son is given. Read. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. That's why I was a Messiah. said, I shall set them in order. That's the government. That's God. Christ said, I'm setting the government in order. He said, the government shall be on his shoulder, read. And his name shall be called Wonderful. His name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor. Uh-huh. The Mighty God. Uh-huh. The Everlasting Father. Read. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Now, let me get that, uh, give me that, Israel, go to IsraelUnitedInChrist.org website. Now, I'm going to show you a timeline how God has set things in order on this earth. IsraelUnited.org. Quick, quick, quick. I want to make sure I try to finish the class. It's 920. I'm sorry, Israel. I started, I started late. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get it in. Go to learn the truth. Look forward and say history. Go go to about IOIC. Go to history. Okay. Go to history. We are gonna give you the timeline. Scroll down. This is put that on the screen. Put it on the screen. Don't put me on the screen. They can see that. Go down. Now look at that. Now read that. Now read that. Who's the what name right there? Give me the year. No, no, not that. The picture from underneath the picture. Underneath the picture. Gabriel Prosser. Gabriel Prosser. Like, what year was that? 1800. 1800s. Go down. We giving you the timeline. We giving you, we giving you setting you on order. Read that verse again while we so they understand why we're going here. That verse we just read in um uh Wisdom of Solomon 814. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 14. Uh-huh. I shall set the people in order. Uh-huh. So Read. And the nation shall be subject unto me. Now read that on screen. Nate Turner. Nat, Nat Turner. Nat Turner. What year? 1831. That's, he had an insurrection that year. That was a good, that's a good, beautiful movie. I got to watch that. Called Birth of a Nation. Birth of a Nation. 
by Nat Turner. That's a heavy movie. That's a good one of my favorite movies. Go down. In 18, remember, look at the time. We went to 1800s to 1831, read. William Saunders Crowdy. William Saunders Crowdy. 1896. 1896. Go down. Prophet Enoch uh, Jijima, 1907. Uh-huh. 1907. F.S. Cherry, 1915. So all these believe somewhat of, of, of somewhat. We, y'all can read it on your own time. For time's sake, I'm not reading the brief caption. But all these are, where you going? So go back up. Where you going? What you doing, bro? What the hell? Stay with me. Stay with me. All these are, are prophets of uh, that once believed somewhat. They, they knew there was Israel. But obviously, they was not teaching properly of the Bible because the water has risen. Go ahead, read that. We are 1920 now. Read Rabbi that. Rabbi Wentworth Matthews, 1920. Uh-huh. Go down. Israel Ben Newman, Mordecai Herman, 1929. Read. Go down. Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford, 1930. 1930. Now, you got to imagine, this is the timeline of when the law was put in the spirit a little by little on the people of God, the Judah, specifically. Judah. Go down. Right. Civil rights movement. Civil rights youth movement. 1969. 1969. Go down. You got you got Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Here we go now. Eber, Let's read that. We're gonna read this one. Read that. Eber Ben Yamyan, 1960. Uh, okay. Now what's the year? 1960. Read that for me. Eber Ben. Eber zoom ben in. Yamyan. Can you zoom in? Yeah. There you go. Come on now, man. Come on. Help me out. Eber Ben Yamyan, also known as Abba Bivens. Abba Bivens, read. Was initially taught he was an Israelite by an ex-slave some many, many years early in the South. Read. Bivens believed in the black Christ and on his way to New York had visited many Indian reservations and came to the scriptural conclusion that the so-called Indians were Israelites as well. Wait, wait, wait. No one ever taught that until this man right here. Prior to all these, we just went from the 1800s down to 1960. He was the first to recognize that the Indian Indians were what? It's the so-called Indians were Israelites That's as well. Right. As well. A lot of people just b- b- believe in the blacks. Southern Kingdom, oh, just the blacks, they, they, they Israelites. But no one was dealing with the Indian reservation like this man here, Alba Bivens. Read on. He then came to New York and joined the commandment keepers under Wentworth Matthews, but rejected Matthews' teachings of Old Testament only and Kabbalah. He, he rejected it because they was only teaching Old Testament. So we got people today still believing Old Testament uh, Bible. They all believe in Christ. Read on. Bivens founded the Torah School of Knowledge. He was the first to teach both the blacks, Latinos, and Indians of the Americas are Israelites. He was the first to teach that the blacks, Latinos, and Indians are Israelites. That's right. Give me Malachi 4. We're coming back here. Malachi 4. You can leave it on the screen. You ain't got to take it down because we're coming back there. Malachi 4 and 5. Read it out. Read that real quick. Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah. He will what? I will send you Elijah. Now, we don't know for sure if Abba Bivens was Elijah, but what we do know what the prophecy states, read. The prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of uh, the Lord. Uh-huh. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. Because the great and dreadful day, we read in 2 Thessalonians 2, about that day shall not come except there be a fallen away first, and that son of that man of sin be revealed. So he now read verse 5 again in Malachi 4 and 5. Behold. I will send you Elijah. He's going to send us a prophet, read. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Before Christ come judge this earth, read. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, meaning he's going to get our eyes to look at this Bible, read. And the heart of the children to their fathers. Uh Uh-huh. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So we understand that that person who's going to come teach that. He going to teach about all 12 tribes. That's right. He ain't going to be the one that just teach Old Testament. He ain't going to want to just teach the New Testament. Yeah. He ain't going to only, 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 only the blacks or the Israelites. Yeah. He's not going to teach that. He's going to teach, go back to the article. Go back to the article. Leave that part where you left off at about blacks, Indians, something like that. Yes, sir. He was the first to teach both the blacks, Latinos, and Indians of the Americas are Israelites. There you go. Read on. New Jersey, he was assaulted by the Nation of Islam Muslims. Because he publicly and biblically denounced Islam as the false religion of the era. Which is true, read. That's as a result, right. he contracted a bad case of pneumonia. Uh-huh. Before he died, he declared Masha, 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 and Yaquab. Yaquab as the school leaders. Read. Jealousy caused many members to reject the new school leaders. Now let's go down. He said he named the, he named the elders. 
Now we got what? What we got here? Ben Ami. 1963. 1963. That's when he took a lot of these Israelites from Chicago and the Midwest all the way to uh, Israel. Then you got, uh, we, we, matter of fact, we actually uh, visited some of the people over there when we visited Israel. Read, go down. The spirit's still jumping. 1965. William A. Lewis. Uh-huh. 1965. Jump down. Yahweh Ben Yahweh, 1970. Uh -huh. 1970. Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Go down. Yaqab and Masha. Yaqab and Masha. Remember, we just read about Abimivis. Before he died, he named Yaqab and Masha as the next leaders. Go down. Masha and Yaqab, 1973. Let's read that a little bit. Mas Moshe Ben. Ma it said Moshe. Moshe Ben. Moshe Ben Karim, a.k.a. Masha. Was who founded the Israeli school of practical knowledge. Are was chosen to carry on the teachings in Abba Bivens. Place by Abba, it should be by Abba Bivens. There's a little typo, sorry. By Abba Bivens, placed with the what? Placed with Peter Sharad, a.k.a. Yaquab. Yaquab, read. They started the Israeli school adding UPK, Universal Practical Knowledge. Practical so we knowledge. just giving you talent. You can read that on your own. Let's go down. Scroll down. We're showing you the talent. Now, zoom in on that picture. Zoom in on that picture. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. You're right about that. See the timeline. You got Abba Biz. You see the tree. This is when the spirit was jumping. Get that in Joel 2.27 while we look at this. Zoom in some more. Bring it Zoom up. in some more. We showing you when the spirit of God hit the earth. You got Abba Bivens. Then you had Masha, King David. Then you had Yaquab. Uh, 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 um, how do you say that? Yaquab's son, which is Uriah. Uh, yeah. Ariah, that's the name. Ariah. Then you got Shaw. Then jump down. Then you got what? Bishop Nathaniel of IUIC. Right. Then you got put some respect. And out of all that branch, we're going to see what the Lord doing today. I'm showing you the timeline, ladies and gentlemen. We're showing you the timeline. Read that what I called. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Read. And ye shall Leave know. that on the screen. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Uh-huh. And that I am the Lord your God. Uh-huh. And right. none else. Read. And my people shall never be ashamed. Read. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. We know what the all flesh is because we just read it in verse 27 when he said, Israel, I am amongst Israel and none else. So all people in verse 28, and well, that's the verse you're on, 28? Yes, sir. He's talking about all nations. Talk about the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Read it again, 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Read. And your sons. And your daughters shall prophesy. Uh huh. Your old men shall dream dreams. Old men, we just seen the timeline. Back in the 1800s, the very first man started preaching Israel. That was the spirit God putting on his old men. Read. Your young men shall see visions. And today you got the young men like myself and everybody else in these purple preaching the word of God That's on the streets. That's right. Read. And also upon the servants uh -huh. and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. There you go. In those days, he'll pour out his spirit. Now, look at the timeline like you see. So, now, all that we see here on the screen, this is what came out. Uh, give me 1 uh, Corinthians 4 and 9. 1 Corinthians. We went through Martin Luther King. We went through a lot of men. Because a lot of these guys had different doctrine and believe in different, different uh, ideologies. But this is what the prophecy state. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that God have set forth us, the apostles, last, uh -huh. as it were appointed to death. Uh -huh. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. So the Lord said, I have set the apostles last. Now, you put that ticket off the screen. Give me that link. Give me the link. Give me the link where it all started. The old school link. Now we know that what a brand, well, who branched off on that? Nope, not that one. It's a classic. Very old. Go, go. Keep going. Let me see what you got. It had young Deacon Yashua on there. Yep, play that. Put that on the screen before you play it. Don't play it yet until you put it on the screen. Make sure the volumes is up. All right, play that. Bring it back. We want it. Okay, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. You're good. When Bishop Nathaniel branched off that, that, that pitch we sold, he branched off, and this is, what, this is what comes from that. Turn it up. Can you turn it up? Thank you. use these terms because it coincides that we're at war mm. thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of jesus christ 
No man Don't fall off this truth, brothers and sisters. You better stay in this truth. This is the no God's army. The young black man and Latin man, when you, he don't understand war, that we're at warfare for the redemption and salvation of our nation. He's so busy fighting. Well, when his I watch this guy, go He's stuck on about. Negro, like some of these Israelites are. They've forgotten to fight. They turn and show hatred against one another. Read it again. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. So we ain't marching, we ain't voting, okay? All that foolishness, we ain't getting caught up in it. We must be dedicated to studying these laws and applying these laws to our lives. Put some respect on where it all started right there. Put some respect on these leaders. These are the sons of God. These are the prophets back on earth. So you better be, you better understand it's honor to be around these men. These are not regular men. This is where it all started, right here. What you see today, 20 years strong, it started right there. This right now is a spiritual war, but we're still sold. Let me hear it! Israel, who's the king? Christ! Who's the king? Christ! Out in the day, the army of Israel is prepared for war. You hear what Captain Shiv say? The army of Israel is prepared for war. Spiritual war, that is. Put some respect on that. Now give me Memphis Milestone. Come on, hurry up. We're going to go down the line. We're going to go to 2018. Now fast forward. This is back, back, way back. Now we're going to go to 2018. 2018. Yep, play that. Put that on the screen. I think. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Put it on the screen. The next one is going to be Chicago, 2019. As you can see, the growth. As you see from the website, we show you from the town of from the 1800s. Now we here we are in 2018 in this screen right now. Fast forward. This is the growth. Same Captain Shim. The pillars of God. Get mad. You go ahead and have your crafty counsel. Okay, give me the next clip. We can't play. Watch it on your own. 2019. Give me 2019. There's some heavy stuff. These are, this is the army of God. We're showing you the government of God. That's what we're showing you. Christ has set us up, and he is still continuing to set us up. Get the next clip. We're going to 2019. That ain't it. Nope. 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 2019. It should say 2019. I'm going to just send it to you, bro. I'm going to just send it to you, man. I'm going to send it to your text message, bro. We want to make sure we got the same clips. Okay, I just texted it to you. Check your text. I ain't sending it to Telegram. I sent it to your main main uh, text. You see it? Oh, send it to Telegram? Okay, I'll send it to Telegram. No problem. I'll make it easier for you. Okay, I just sent it to Telegram. So I hear we showing you talent. I was 2018 Memphis Miles. I was in Memphis. We we blitzed the entire downtown of Memphis. That's right. So now we're gonna show you what we did in Shot Town. Go ahead and put that up. Read that in uh, Titus 1 and 5 while we wait for that. Titus 1 and 5. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, you Titus got chapter it? 1, verse 5. Read. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. That's what we're showing you. Paul is telling Timothy, set the things that in order. Put it on the screen. And this is what's happening right here on the earth. All right, you should get the next one ready because we got 2020. 
which we haven't seen on TV, at the movies, at the theater. We haven't seen this kind of image. And this is what needs to happen all over the world. One mind. One spirit. With some respect. I think it was Inglewood. Was it Inglewood, One Chicago? We hit the streets. No limit. Army of God. Men are becoming too imbalanced and leaning the, too damn far to their emotional the command, sight. We got, we got Captain Shim. For a long time, had a small disagreement, and now you burning bridges because of pride. Anywhere you go, that stigma gonna find Bishop you. Bishop Yalosa, we got, we got the elders with us. Mark the one that's always starting problems with people. They really evil. They just this is what the world would never put on news, but we gonna put it up there. Come on, get the next one. The get the next one. Staying clear we the going to Atlanta now. We going to Atlanta. We blaze. We blitzing all the cities, city to city, the country to country. Put that on the screen. This is 2020. I'm gonna see. Yes, sir. This Atlanta. This is dude. This is during COVID. We still hit the streets. A real God body. More Look at how people love to see us. Head, the Holy Spirit we doing the work. What you doing? Body. We More doing the work. What you doing? Head, the Holy you Spirit just talking smack on Facebook yeah. and Instagram. Know the whistles, oh, oh, these epistles, these other nations, the we has it in our lives. What you doing? This is 2020 Atlanta. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. You put some respect on God's army. This is Atlanta, 2021, because you know during COVID we couldn't go nowhere, so we had to keep it local again. Esau tried to send a play that stop, tried to stop the work, but we still gathered. Oh. From 2018 down, we on 2021 now. Oh. What are you doing? Hating. While we still doing the Lord's work. We raising sons. We raising fathers. We raising our, our ch uh, men. I got so much going on we turning crack pipes and crackheads to God's window, uh, uh, sons of God. Side. That's what we doing. What Genocide. you doing? It's a war raised on my people. I sent you. Already know what's going on because I. That's why we gotta say this truth, man. This is a lovely thing. Get the next one. Get the next one. Steady looking for That's the Atlanta, 2021. So now 2022, where we went? 2022. I'm showing you from the from 1800s where we at today. Look at it. The spirit of God is on earth. That's not it. I'll send it to you. Put that on the screen. Detroit, 2020. That's where we went. We going to all the inner cities, Trials all the chief places of concourse. While wow, brothers and sisters are getting shot down daily, guns by the drug infested. We hitting the streets. We don't want to go to your fancy counties. suburbs. I've we going to where the children of Israel is located. Go. But there's one thing I've learned. No one man can do it alone. So, season changing, we go Look at that. Army of God. Man, if this don't inspire you to repent and come to the truth, I don't know what will. Man, you bet, man, revolution will not be televised. We are in a spiritual battle. We left the world. That's what Christ said. No man that war is taking himself in this world. We left the world. Now let's go to 2022. I mean, yep. Yeah, well, 2022. We still on 2022. That's Detroit 2022. Let's see what else we did in 2022 that shocked the world. Play that. I sent it to you on Telegram. Put that up there. That turned the world. Oh, look at that. That turned the world upside down. Bad, it looks more like Listen, a good. Group what? Play it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. We setting up God's what? army. What did she say? Bring it back. Play it Bad, again. It it looks more like a military group than anything else, but I'll read what they have yeah, you said something about it. it looked like something. An army. <laughs> Make you say that. Because look, it, it's like military. Stuff. They have never seen blacks and Hispanics in order. I'm pretty impressed. I heard it from about a mile away, so I had to come over. Okay. How many men?
This shook the world. Devil's seat. New York. They scratching their head. What is going on? Are we being invaded? There's something that was said that has never been done or seen before. Unity of our people. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. Is that right, brothers? We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. And we will not apologize. You better believe it. teach this truth come hell or high water. Ten toes down. said the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. I want everybody to understand that. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3, the Lord said, Endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Let's hear it. Unity! 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 Ooh, the, every time I watch, give me goosebumps. And I don't know about y'all, man. Give me goosebumps. Ever. This don't never get old. So at that, brothers, who's the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? Let's get 2023. That was 2022. Let's get 2023. Now, remember, Bishop said, he said, we will not apologize and we will not bow the knee. We're going to teach this word come hell and high water. That's what we got to do. Thank you for the bomb, IT. But go ahead, play. 2023. We work with anybody and form coalition with anybody. Where we was at? Baltimore. We, we going to all the cheese places and concourse where nobody want to go. On their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. You hear that? We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. So we believe those words Fred Hampton said and Malcolm X said in that point right there. We are the savior. We are the prophets on earth doing the work. We are the new, the new generation bringing the true gospel. Thus says the Lord. Under the leadership of Bishop Nathaniel, Bishop Yao Sop, and Bishop Kanak. That's right. The new world leaders are here. That's some good stuff there. Give me another clip, give me another clip, give me another clip. Still Baltimore, we still dealing with 2023. With some respect. So now we on 2024, New Year. Play that. We have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. And it is because of our effort toward getting straight to the root that people oftentimes think we are dealing in hate. Brothers and sisters, for generations, we've been a people living under the weight of oppression. From the days of Marcus Garvey's call for unity, to Martin Luther King's dream of freedom and equality, to Fred Hampton's unyielding fight for justice. We've been relentlessly pushed down, but we have never been broken. In these trying times, God has sent us a torchbearer to guide our path. Today, I introduce to you a beacon of hope. Bishop Nathaniel. Damn, put some respect! With unwavering the nation of Israel back to our rightful place. By teaching us the sacred laws that have been our birthright and our They salvation. mad now, get back. Christ was the true, truest of all revolutionaries, and each one of us have to pattern ourselves in his image. Under his guidance, we will walk a path illuminated by the word of God, not the false promises of man. In his hands, the legacy of our past fuels a righteous and spiritual future. A future where we stand this is tall Baltimore. as children of God. Say, we go to the chief place. As free and dignified people at last. What is a revolutionary? Well, there's two words found in the word revolutionary. Revolve, as in change. We're changing the minds of our people. We're revolting against all the lies this system has taught against us. The Bible prophesies about 144,000 true revolutionaries. And finally, my brother, 
Get mad. That's where the spirit of Christ is located right there. I E Y. Get mad. I don't care. Give me Psalms 23 and 1. Psalms 23 and 1. I know they mad. They mad. It's all right. Well, you could be mad. Keep being mad. But we're going to still do this work. That's the thing. Psalm That's 23 right. verse 1. Read that. Psalm chapter 23 verse 1. Uh-huh. The Lord is my shepherd. What does God say? The Lord is my shepherd. I mean, David, what did David say? The Lord is my shepherd. Read. I shall not want. Uh-huh. He making me to lie down in green pastures. That green pasture is knowledge. He making me lie down in the knowledge of God. Read. He leadeth me beside the still water. Uh huh. He restoreth my soul. He restored my soul. We just read it. Give me Malachi 4 and 6 again. How does he restore the Israelite soul? How does he bring us back to his Bible? He sent the prophets on earth to teach us that we are the Israelites. Read that for me. Malachi chapter 4, verse 6. Uh huh. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. Uh huh. And the heart of the children to their fathers. Read. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So that's how he restored our soul by turning the hearts of the children to the fathers and the hearts of the fathers to the children. Meaning he brought us back to this holy Bible. Go back to Psalm 23. Psalm chapter 23, verse 3. Uh -huh. He restored my soul. Read. He leaded me into the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Read. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The valley of the shadow of death. Let's get that in uh, Baruch 3 and 10. Baruch 3 and 10. The valley of the shadow of death. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Baruch 3 and 10. Baruch chapter 3. And verse 10. Uh-huh. How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land? The valley of the shadow of death is what? The, thine enemy's land. Uh-huh. That thou art waxing old in a strange country. We are waxing old in a strange country. Read. That thou art defiled with the dead. We are defiled with the dead. That's the shadow of death. We are defiled with the dead souls in captivity. Give me Psalms 107. Psalms 107. Let's start at verse 10. Psalm chapter 107, verse 10. Uh -huh. Such as sit in darkness. So that's as sit in darkness, read. And in the shadow of death. And in the shadow of death. That's captivity. We are on our enemy land. That's us being defiled with the dead souls. The Lord going to burn up with nuclear bombs. <laughs> read. Being bound in affliction. That's how you know it's slavery. Because we're in our enemy's land. Bound in affliction is slavery. Read. And iron. Uh-huh. Because they rebelled against the words of God. Uh-huh. And contemned the and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Meaning we went against God's word. Read. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. He brought us down to captivity, to the bases of all nations. Read. They fell down. And there was none to help. Nobody can help us. Not the doctrines of Malcolm X. Not the doctrine of Martin Luther King. Not the doctrine of America. No one can help us. When you read that in Deuteronomy 28, uh, when it says, uh, what is it, 29? And none shall redeem you, because only one shall redeem us. We ain't going to get it, but y'all read it on your own self. Read on. Verse 13. Uh -huh. Then they cried unto the Lord. Then we did what? Cried unto the Lord. We repented. That's 1 Kings 8. 46, we turned back to God's That's commandments. That's right. Read. In their trouble. In our trouble, we turn our back. And that's why he said in Hosea 5, 15, in their affliction, they shall seek me early. So we were seeking the Lord. That's why you see God's government being formed on this earth from, from the 1800 to 2024. That's right. Read. And he saved them. He out, what? He saved them. Uh-huh. Out of their distresses. Read on. He brought them out of darkness. That darkness is when Christ hit the scene. Light has shined in darkness. That's right. That's the light back in Rome when Christ hit the scene. He gave us that light and understand we the Israelites. You are the chosen seed of God. That's right. All you right. got to do is believe in me and keep the commandments and be faithful. Read. And the shadow of death. He took us out of shadow of death. He let us know we're in our enemy's land. This is not our rest. This is not our homeland. We know our homeland is Jerusalem now. Read verse 14 again. He brought them out of darkness uh -huh. and the shadow of death. Read. And break their bands in sunder. He broke our bands in sunder. Now give me Isaiah uh, 9 and 1, I think it is. Broke our bands in sunder. Isaiah 9 and 1. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. Uh huh. When at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun Read. and the land of Naphtali, uh -huh. and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea uh -huh. beyond Jordan 
in Galilee of the nations. That's my that's my, my Matthew 4, 15. Read on. The people that walked in darkness. That's he saying he broke down some darkness. The people that walked in darkness talking about the Israelites. That's Read. right. Have seen a great light. That great light is the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Read. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. That's our shadow of death. The valley of shadow of death is America captivity. That's Read. right. Upon them have the light shine. That's how we know we the Israelites and Christ is black, by the way. Put some respect. Let's go back to Psalm 23 and read verse 4 again. Psalm chapter 23 and verse 4. Read uh -huh. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We walked in captivity in America in a strange land. Read. I will fear no evil. We ain't fear nothing on this earth. So you could do your crafty counsel and try to threaten us, try to put fear in us, try to get us fired, try to lock us up. We will what? Read it again. I will fear no evil. Read. For thou art with me. Because God is with us That's and he warned right. us it will happen. So we know the Lord is telling the truth and we ain't fearful about this. Read. Thy rod. Thy rod. And thy staff. Uh-huh. They comfort me. The Bible is our rod and staff. The Bible is our rod and staff. That That's comfort right. us. Give me Isaiah 33, uh, verse 6. Read it out. About stability. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Uh-huh. And wisdom. And what? And wisdom. The Bible. And knowledge and the Bible shall be the stability of thy time. That is our peace. That is our comfort. Read. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is the treasures of God. So the wisdom and knowledge is the stability. That's going to stabilize us. We ain't going to smoke no weed. We ain't going to smoke no cigarettes to stabilize us and give us stability, give us a peace of mind. We don't need, when we're when we stressing, we're not going to turn to alcohol and get drunk. No, we're going to read verse 6 again. And wisdom uh -huh. and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. That's, That's the rod right. and staff. Go back to Psalms 23. The Bible has given us our peace of mind. Put some respect on that. Read that again, Psalms 23 and verse 4. Psalms chapter 23, verse 4. Uh-huh. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Though we in America, in this God-forsaken darkness world, Babylon, the great America, read. I will fear no evil. We fear no man, no corporation, not even Amalek, read. For thou art with me. The rod of God is with us, the Bible, read. Thy rod uh -huh. and thy staff, they comfort me. Read. Thy prepare us a table. Thy prepare us a table. Give me that in Psalm 50 in verse 21. Read that prepare us a table. What is that table? I'm sorry, Isaiah 30 and 8. Give me the table first. Isaiah 30 and 8 for the table. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Uh huh. Now go, write it before them in a table. In the table and what? And note it in a book. So the book is the table of God. The That's Bible right. is the rod of iron. The Bible of God to give us stability. Read. That it may be for the time uh -huh. to come forever and ever. Uh huh. That this is a rebellious people. Give me Jeremiah 36 and verse 2. What is in this book? What is in this table, the Bible? What is in it and who is it for? Read. Jeremiah chapter 36 and verse 2. Uh-huh. Take thee a roll of a book. That table is the book, read. And write therein all the words that I have spoken to unto thee against Israel. Against who? Israel. So the book is for the Israelites. That's the right. The book is the words of God is for the Israelites. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. And against Judah. And against Judah. So you think it's just talking about northern kingdom. No, he's talking about the southern kingdom as well. Read. And against all the nations. All 12 tribes. Read. And the nations that's going to get judged by it. Read. From the day I spake unto thee, from the days of Josiah, even unto this day. Even unto this very day right now in 2024. Go back to Psalm 23. Psalm 23 and verse 5. Psalm chapter 23, verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me. That Bible, read. In the presence of mine enemies. In our land of captivity, the shadow of death. That's read. right. Thou anointest my head with oil. Uh-huh. My cup runneth over. Uh-huh. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Uh-huh. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For what? Forever. For what? Forever. Now, give me that clip. Uh, give me that clip. I just sent it to you. I just sent it to you. Give me the clip real quick. Play that for me real quick. Because one thing about it, we would not be moved. Because the time that we are writing right now, Michael Max says something heavy. Play that for me. Play it from the beginning. And become... Bring it back to the beginning. Go ahead. I think you'll find... Turn it up. Sir. Why is it so low? I think you'll are find... Are y'all scared sir, to turn it up? That there will come a time when black people wake up and become intellectually independent enough to think for themselves as other humans 
are intellectually independent enough to think for themselves, then the black man will think like a black man, and he will feel for other black people. And this new thinking and feeling will cause black people to stick together. And then at that point, you'll have a situation where when you attack one black man, you are attacking all black men. And this type of black thinking will cause all black people to stick together. And this type of thinking also will bring an end to the brutality inflicted upon black people by white people. And it is the only thing that will bring an end to it. No federal court, state court, or city court will bring an end to it. It's something that the black man has to bring an end to himself. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. You hear what he said? There's nobody else going to save us unless the blacks come under Christ. Add Christ in there. That's pretty what he summed up. Zephaniah 2 and 1. That's Zephaniah right. 2 verse 1. Uh-huh. Gather yourselves together. Read. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. O nation, because we are the nation not desired. No one desires the black man or the black woman. We got to do it ourselves. Give me John 14 and 12. John chapter 14, verse 12. Yeah. This is what we're going to do. When we come together, God is going to, God is going to, he promised us one thing if we endure. Read that. Barely, barely. I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. The works that Christ do, he sh we shall do also. Read. And greater works. And what? Greater works. Greater works than Christ did. Read. Than these shall uh -huh. he do. Uh-huh. Because I go unto my Father. Now give me Second Ezra 13 and 1. Let's show you an example of what Christ did. And he said we're going to do greater works. We're almost done. Uh, two more pre precepts, two more precepts, we're going to be done. Read that. Isaiah 13 and verse 1. Second Ezra 13 and 1, sorry. Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days. I dreamed a dream by night. Read. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea. Meaning that the armies of Christ. The wind from the seas, the seas are talking about the sky. Because there's water up there, believe it or not. That's why when you go to space, they float. Read. That it moved all the waves thereof. Uh-huh. And I beheld. And lo. That man, that who? That man, uh huh, waxed strong with the thousands of heavens. That's how you know it's the angels. The thousands of heavens waxed strong with the thousands of heavens. Read. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. So when Christ came in a V shape, like the birds be flying with his angels, everybody, every time he turned his head and looked down, everybody trembled when they seen that black, big black Christ come down from the skies. That's Read. right. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned. That heard his voice. When he spoke the law, thou shalt not commit adultery. Burn ashes and ashes to everybody else. Thou shalt not steal. Burn ashes and ashes to everybody else. Thou shalt not commit idolatry. Burn. Everybody got burned. That's what he was doing. Read on. Like as the earth fell it when it filleth the fire. Uh-huh. And after this I beheld. And lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. So Amalek and all the United Nations, NATO and all them, read. Out of number. From the four winds of the heaven. Uh-huh. To subdue the man. That came out of the sea. So the man that came out of the sea or the sky is Christ, and the nations thought they could have taken Christ out. Read. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. What? He did what? And flew upon it. He did what? And flew up on it. Christ flew. Remember when we just read in John 14? Greater works shall ye do. That's Give me Isaiah right. 40 and 31. Here's the proof. The Israelites going to fly too. Isaiah 40, 31. Put some respect on it. They say greater where the works I do, you shall do greater. Christ can fly. Are we going to be able to fly? Isaiah 41. Last scripture, last scripture. Isaiah 40 and 1. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1. Uh-huh. Comfort ye. Comfort ye, my people. I'm sorry, Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Uh-huh. But they that wait upon the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord, these are the, these. What it says, uh, Revelation 14 and 12? Uh, huh? Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I don't want to butcher the scripture. Because he said, those that wait on the Lord, what, wait, what, what he talking about? Revelation 14 and 12. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Uh-huh. Here is the patience Here's of the Here's the what? Saints. Here's the patience uh -huh. of the saints. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. Uh-huh. And the faith of Jesus. And the faith of Jesus. Those who's faithful and wait on the Lord. Go back to Isaiah 40. Start at verse 29 and down to 31, and we're going to close it out. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. Read Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Isaiah 40 and 29. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. He giveth the power to the faint. He giveth the power to the Israelites, the poor, the faint. Put that on the screen. Read. And to them that have no might, 
He increased his strength. We don't have no military might. We don't have economic strength. He increased our strength. It's the kingdom now, read. Even the youth. Even the youth. Shall faint and be weary. Uh -huh. And the young men shall utterly fall. Read. But. But. They that wait upon the Lord. Those who patiently wait on the Lord, like we read in Revelation 14 and 12. Read. Shall renew their strength. Uh-huh. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall do what? Mount up with wings as eagles. What do eagles do with wings? They fly. Look at That's that thing. Right. We going to fly because Christ said, greater works shall ye do. Read. <laughs> they shall run. They shall run. And not be weary. We ain't going to get tired because we got power now. We got our spiritual bodies back. We got our original bodies back. Read. <laughs> and they shall walk. Uh-huh. And not Faith. And we shall not faint. And with that, we say thank you. Hope you got some edification of the class. All praise to the most high. That's your daily bread. Don't lose faith. Don't walk out this truth. With that, Israel, we say shalom. <laughs>